Hello, my name is Daniel King and welcome to my round two play of the day from the Istanbul Olympiad. All the big teams came through unscathed today, but matches were a lot closer. Uh, there were a few individual stars who had uh, problems today. Kramnik only managed to draw, he had a very exciting game. Ivanchuk looked to be really in total control. But uh, as we'll see, uh, things started to happen in his game. And this is my play of the day today. Al Modiaki against Ivanchuk. Now we join the game after 35 moves and Ivanchuk looks to be in total control. Look at this knight on d5. Ivanchuk has just plonked it there. Far superior minor piece to the bishop on c1. The rook is very active, pressing down on the a-pawn here. Basically, I, I, looking at this at first glance, I would say Ivanchuk is positionally winning. You know, th these two weak pawns and, well, I think White's only chance is to perhaps attack on the king side, but at this moment it's very hard to see how White can achieve that. But, well, let's see what happened. Al Modiaki played f4, and again, from a positional viewpoint, this just looks dreadful because the bishop uh, is blocked in by this pawn and the bishop is just looking even worse now. But it's extraordinary how many resources white has. Let's have a look. Okay, queen a6, this looks like a good move, pressing down on the a2 pawn. And here Modiaki played a3, uh, which looks pretty ugly again, it's on, on kind of on the wrong colour square. But in, instead of this, Perhaps he could have played rook h2, and at first this just looks like a, a very crude attacking method. Okay, he wants to take on h7, of course, and it looks like h5 just blunts this. Okay, you give up a pawn, you blockade with king h7, and black looks to be in total control here with these two pawns hanging. In fact, White can actually break through here with f5. It's incredible. He's just in time. So there's a threat to take and, and then penetrate down the f-file. Okay, so black takes, and now g4. And remarkably, white is just in time here. Play here, and then queen h5, and there's no defense for black. Okay, there are, there are many other variations, um, but that's, that's just... One possibility. So rook h2 was possible here. Okay, Modiaki played a3, and this still looked fantastic for black, who seems to be crawling in. But okay, there was good defense here. f5 might be possible here for white, but okay, this also looked reasonable. g6, preventing f5. And now a very blunt move. Maybe bishop b2 is okay for white. Um, so this is also a possibility. It looks so ugly. This this bishop is just a big pawn, just protecting these two pawns. But it might buy white just enough time to break through. Let's have a very quick look. Here, and now black looks like it's making progress. The rook is swinging round, but white is just in time to make a draw here. Let's have a look. So. Black seems to be breaking through, but now rook h7, and there's perpetual check. So, in fact, Al Modiaki's position is not as bad as it looks. Instead of bishop b2, he broke with f5. A very interesting pawn sacrifice. It looks ridiculous, actually, but. There are ways for white to break through here. Let's have a look at what happened. So the time control had been reached, and still seemed to me, looking at this game, that Ivanchuk was in total control here, because he dominates the light squares. But remarkably, white has just enough play. Let's have a look. Okay, so queen h7 threatened h5. This still looked very good for black. And now, to prevent h7 and queen h6, king h7. So still blockading on the light squares. And it looks as though black has everything under control. You know, these squares are covered, so white's queen can't gain entry. But 
Al Modiaki kept battering away. Now, the only thing with black's position is that if black is not breaking through on the queen side, then this rook takes a very long time to rejoin the defence. Um, let's just have a look at this move. Knight takes c3 would lose to queen f6, so already black is being pegged back a little bit. Okay, b5. This is a good move because that means the rook can now rejoin the defence. g4. Excellent move. White has to break through. Otherwise, if black consolidates, then he'll be able to win on the queen side very easily. So Al Modiaki is keeping Ivanchuk busy. Well, what does white achieve by this? It looks as though there's nothing doing on the f file. But this is a very slow plan, actually. The king is simply coming up the board, and then white is going to take on g4. Okay, let's see what happens. Here we go king g3. And now black can take on c3 because the rook covers f6. If, um, queen takes g4, so white is fighting back here. But still, it looks to me as though black still should be winning this just positionally. But it's actually much trickier than it looks. Maybe queen b7 is a good move here. Because, okay, queen h1 might have been a move there. The knight comes back to d5 and continues covering, and now queen c7 covers all these squares again. Maybe that's the best way to play it. Instead, Ivanchuk played queen d5, and the problem is the knight cannot come back to e4 now. Uh, excuse me, to d5. Okay, knight e4 was threatened. Okay, knight e4 anyway. Rook f4, threatening the knight. Now f5 looks like an interesting move. Um, rook f5 is actually possible here. Of course, can't be taken because of queen g7. Almodiarchy took on f6. Knight f6. And now queen c8. The queen penetrates. And now Ivanchuk made a dreadful mistake. He played rook, rook c6. And in fact, he resigned without white playing another move. Um, queen f8 is winning here. So the knight on f6 is threatened, and of course queen g7. Now black has some checks, but the king can escape uh, with some deft footwork. For example here, and well the checks basically just run out, that's it. And white is just a piece up. So a tragedy for Ivanchuk. Um, after rook c6 he lost. In fact, he was still okay here. He was running very short of time. If he'd found queen h5 check straight away, and now the move g5 saves black. The king can now come up the board. With best play, this should probably be a draw. And although black is a pawn up, basically he's tied to the knight on f6, and this should be a draw. But I found this game really remarkable because it looked as though Ivanchuk had complete control and yet Al Modiaki kept finding ways to generate a little bit of play on the king side. Excellent game. So Ivanchuk lost. He really needs to be on top form if Ukraine are going to defend their title. Let's see what happens in later rounds. Thanks for watching.